If you're interested, we encourage you to experiment, but ballistic ping pong balls are hazardous and potentially lethal. If you think your clothes are enough to protect you, here's what a ping pong ball did to a leather glove. This video is the first in a series of three demonstrating our ping pong ball launcher. This video demonstrates a vacuum launch without the pressure chamber. This end right here is where the ping pong ball begins its journey. And then over the end we have mylar clamped down sealing this end of the vacuum tube. Then we have the vacuum pump connected to the PVC pipe right here. Down at this end we have another sheet of mylar clamped down to seal off the vacuum tube and then this big white cylinder here provides space for air that manages to leak in front of the ball when launched to go to help it increase the speed during the launch. After the ball breaks through the membrane, it will pass through these two light beams 100 millimeters apart, measuring the speed, then hit this piece of hardy plank. Okay, now we're ready to turn on the vacuum pump. You got your safety. Then, safety goggles. Uh -huh. And as we're pumping the tube down, we turn on the heater for warming the air. As the vacuum continues to evacuate the pipe here, you can see the membrane or the mylar caving in, forming a bowl shape due to the atmospheric pressure pushing in. Okay, now after the pump has had a few minutes to evacuate the chamber, we puncture it to release the ball. And here's a piece of hardy plank that we use as our target this time around. This is the back side that the ball broke through and here's the front side where it hit. And then we'll look at the oscilloscope to see how fast it went. So there's the two pulses on the oscilloscope. Show the distance for 100 millimeters. And that is, what, 331 microseconds, so just a hair over 300 meters per second.